Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a first quarter moon looking beautiful in the evening sky Tuesday, September 10th. Get out there and take a walk. It's still warm and nice. Uh, the sun has basically southern hemisphere uh, spots galore. Nothing really going crazy, but even the small ones have been causing aurora over much of the last year. So interesting stuff there. Look at drought conditions from last week to this week. Nothing really changes on the front range, but if you take a look at the western slope, you can see some of that nip away and become uh, no drought conditions at all. So we're not bad overall as a state. The driest, crispiest area is going from Longmont Berthoud down into Denver. Nationally, the southeast and southern states definitely get drier. Uh, looking into the northwest, I don't see anything except Nevada fills in a little bit more with the uh, minimal drought, but that's kind of it. Looking smoke-wise, we're way out here in the distance, taking a look at the whole North American continent. And you've got fires over here, smoke into Utah. North of us, it's moderate around Longmont come Friday. Um, the rain helps, and a shift in winds may continue to bring southwestern air in that isn't as bad. Uh, last seven days, pretty dry. We've had a couple thunderstorms and little showers now and then, but uh, right along the Front Range, Fort Collins, down to the Springs, even Pueblo, not much notable fell. Okay, we got just a couple more weeks. We'll be taking a look at the severe weather climatology and then maybe the snow map comes back. But here we are in August, fourth week of August, September, second week of September, third week of September. And you don't expect really severe weather. It can still happen, but uh, in reality, we do have a marginal risk for hail and uh, strong damaging straight line winds with thunderstorms all the way down to Colorado Springs, northern uh, half third of the state. It's kind of hard to look at that little nip out there in the eastern plains, but uh, yeah, winds and hail, not tornadoes, are the main risk for Thursday. Still a chance of thunderstorms. And then for Friday, that goes to the southern mountains in the southwest and down into Mexico. Just everyday thunderstorms. Look at the uh, surface. We have the cold front draped up here, reinforcing cold front for the north. That pushes down over the state by Thursday morning. We got thunderstorms ahead of the uh, front, and then more light rain afterwards. And then Friday, just down in the south southwest. So we have good chance of rain uh, Thursday. Is that, is that right? No, Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. Look at the uh, normals and how fast they're dropping now. 83 to 79 over the next 10 days for a high, for lows, 53 down to 49. So four degree drops. Uh, we really shouldn't see 90s for much longer, but we will in the short term. Thunderstorms and rainfall become much more spotty after that. Um, Wednesday, Thursday rain period. Uh, one of the reasons is there's just this much moisture and lots of dry air to the south and southwest. So once this trough pulls through, it's going to take moisture with it, and that'll kind of be it for a little while. So let's put this in motion. Here's the trough kicking off uh, severe weather chances and rain Wednesday into Thursday. Then really quickly, this big ridge is back into the weekend, and the heat comes back. And you can see it even migrates over the four corners. Ridge axis right over northern Colorado. So, yeah, hot, hot, hot. Uh, as you go into the 11th and 12th, this big cutoff low rolls in and then it kind of stalls. But that trough could <coughs> um, lead us to some precipitation later. And we see what looks like a kind of a compact uh, hurricane coming in and dying over the uh, New Mexico regions to our south. So we have heat coming out of the uh, beginning part of the week. Cool air comes down with that cold front. 
abnormally cool temperatures through Thursday. Friday, the warmth is starting to come back as another cold front hits the eastern half of the nation. It's really heat in the west, cool in the east. And that holds out until the heat starts to finally push the cool air out. And we are in way above normal temperatures back here in Colorado, northeast Colorado, and up on the northern plains. That's that trough coming in, bringing in cooler air. And sandwiched between these two cool areas, uh, minus the hurricane moisture down here, is uh, us in the above normal temperatures. Yeah. I'm um, not going to show much of the precipitable water until that hurricane comes up. We're kind of in the normal to dry area. Not much to see there. Dew points too don't really change much. Here's some 50 dew points uh, for Wednesday night into Thursday, so you should enjoy the rain, maybe a quarter inch or so around Longmont to Fort Collins. Then the dew points kind of drop into the weekend, 20s and 30s. And it's not till we get to about the 14th or 15th that we start to see this Gulf moisture start pushing our direction. You can see it crossing Texas into New Mexico. On the 12th, here's the 13th. And we got 50, 60 dew points out on the plains. And it kind of tug of wars back and forth until right there at the end, you can see 50 dew points make it back by the 15th. For precipitation, we have the front and uh, approaching trough and the rain for about 12 hours and that sinks down and dissolves to our south. Going into the weekend, pretty high and dry. A few mountain storms, but not much. Into Monday, Tuesday, a little spotty stuff out west, but pretty quiet with low dew points and a ridge overhead. Here comes that trough and the cutoff low. By the 13th, 14th, here comes the hurricane down to the south, putting a lot of moisture into the desert southwest. And there's a bunch of storms like that for the 15th, 16th, so next weekend. And some post-frontal rain after that. That's it. All right, so for the next five days, quarter inch or so, maybe a little bit less. Uh, some spots will get a lucky half inch. In the next 10 days, kind of weaken here uh, through Longmont, a little more rain up north and south. In the short term, seven day forecast, 80s get cut back with rain and a frontal passage to the 70s for Thursday with showers mainly in the morning, but that'd be kind of nice to have a, a wet, dry, um, a wet, cloudy drive in. Then we start bouncing back in the 80s, 90s for the weekend, and into the beginning next week. If we get a cool down after this, that could be the end of our 90s, but we're not done yet. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Hope you enjoyed that forecast. Hope you like the rain tonight. Leave the window open and hear the thunder. I'm urging you to keep looking up.